ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله والسلام عليه اما بعد يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر امور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد يا عباد الله قال الله عز وجل في كتابه الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اذا السماء شقت واذنت لربها وحقت واذا الارض مدت وألقت ما فيها وتخلت وأذنت لربها وحقت يا عباد الله الله سبحانه وتعالى he says here in these five ayat what translated means and when the heavens are rent asunder and it listens to its lord and it must and the earth is stretched out and it casts out everything that is in it until it becomes empty and it must listen to its lord it listens to his lord and it must do so these ayat these are ayat that many of us have memorized these ayat are ayat that many of us have recited often but the question comes have we reflected on the meanings that are contained inside of these ayat Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala He says Idha as-sama'u shaqqat And when the sky and when the heaven it is rent asunder and shaqqat it is rent asunder and shaqqat The meaning of this in fatihat that it opens it is rent asunder it is cleft asunder as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says elsewhere in the quran wa idha as-sama'u furijat and when the heavens are rent asunder as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in surah al-mursilat wa qawlihi ta'ala and also it is like allah ta'ala statement in surah ar-rahman فَإِذَا شَقَّتِ السَّمَاءُ فَكَانَتْ وَرْدَةً كَالدِّهَانِ And when 
the sky, when the heavens, they are rent asunder, when they are torn apart, and for canet waruda, and it is a rosy color, it will be rosy. Kadihan, like the red oil or the red hide. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ Then in which of the blessings of your Lord are you two going to deny? O oh, you mankind, O oh, you jinn, which of the blessings of your Lord are you going to deny? فَيَوْمَئِذٍ لَا يُسْأَلُ عَنْ ذَنْبِهِ إِنْسٌ وَلَا جَانٍ On this day, يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ On the day of judgment, Neither a human being nor a jinn will be asked about their sins. A human being and a jinn, they won't be asked about their sins. Meaning, they won't be asked, what is your sin? What sins did you make? Why? Because it will be well known. It will be well known what sins they had. It will be well known. If they were from those who are happy or from those who are sad, it will be well known. So it won't have to be asking, what were your sins? It will be known. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, here in this ayah from Surah Al Rahman, He informs us of the time frame. He informs us of when the sky will be rent asunder, when the heavens will be torn apart. Even فَشِقَاقُهَا يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ So when they will be rent asunder, when they will be torn apart, then this will be يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ This will be on the Day of Judgment. وَأَذِنَتْ لِرَبِّهَا And it listens to His Lord. Meaning the sky will listen to Allah Azza wa Jal. أَذِنَتْ بِمَعْنَى إِسْتَمِعَتْ وَقَاعَتْ أَمْرَ رَبِّهَا عَزَّ وَجَلْ Meaning that it will listen and it will obey the command of, it, of, 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 of its Lord Azza wa Jal. And tanshaqa, tanshaqa, to rent asunder and thus it will rent asunder. To tear apart and thus it will tear apart. بَيْنَمَا هِيَ كَانَتْ كَمَا وَصَفَهَا اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى سَبْعًا سَبْعًا شِدَادًا سَبْعًا شِدَادًا and this is with the understanding, this is with the knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He had described the heavens as being seven strong. Seba'a, seven strong. Shidada, seven strong heavens. But with their strength, with their might, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands them to rent asunder, they will rent asunder. The, the, the sky, the heavens, قوي. they're strong. كَمَا قَالَ تَعَالَى As Allah Ta'ala, He says, وَالسَّمَاءَ وَالسَّمَاءَ بَنَيْنَاهَا بِأَيْدِ And the and the heavens with hands, بِأَيْدِ With hands, they were built. With hands, they were made, they were fashioned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heavens to be strong. A bi qawi. The heavens is strong. Qala shi'u thaymeen rahmatullah alayhi. A bi quwa. The heavens they were made with, 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 with strength. They, they're made to be strong. Fahadihi sama al qawiya. So the heavens they are strong. Al azima. They are tremendous. But on the day of judgment, they will split, they will break. On the day of judgment, they will rent asunder. They will rent asunder by the command of Allah Azza wa Jal. And it must do so. The heavens, it must do so. It must obey Allah Azza wa Jal. It has to listen and it has to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لِأَنَّ الَّذِي أَمْرَهَ اللَّهِ رَبُّهَا 
Because the one who is commanding the heavens to rent asunder, that it is the Lord of the heavens. It is the one who created it. The one who created the heavens, Allah Azza wa Jal. So it listens to it. So it listens to Allah. And it obeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It listens unto Allah Azza wa Jal. And it obeys Allah Azza wa Jal. Just like in the beginning of the affair. كَمَا أَنَّهَا سَمِعَتْ وَطَاعَتْ فِي بِدَاءِ خَلْقِهَا Just like in the beginning of its creation, it listened and it, it obeyed Allah Azza wa Jal. وَفِي بِتِدَاءِ خَلْقِهَا And when it was first created, قَالَ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكُ وَتَعَالَى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ وَهِيَ دُخَانٍ And then attention was turned to the sama. And then at that point, attention, it was turned to the sama. And this is what is understood here in this ayah. Kama qala fadilat al-shaykh, Shaykh Khalid Abdurrahman al-Masri, in explaining the various meanings of the word al-istiwa in the Quran. He explains and he mentions, he says al-istiwa, إِذَا عُدِيَ بِعَلَى أَفَادَ الْعُلُو That al-istiwa, when it, 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 it comes and ala is mentioned, harfun jar ala is mentioned, then what is meant, it means al-ulu, that something is high. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, uh, in explaining to us His, his, his ulu, Ar-Rahman ala al-Arsh istawa The Ar-Rahman is ala ala al-Arsh istawa The Ar-Rahman he is above his throne So we understand the ulu of Allah Azza wa Jal That Allah Azza wa Jal huwa al-a'la He is the most high There is nothing above Allah Azza wa Jal Allah Azza wa Jal he is above his creation he is not a part of his creation. But Allah, He is above His creation. He has the characteristic of Al-Ulu. وَإِذَا عُدِيَ أَيْ الْإِسْتِوَاء وَإِذَا عُدِيَ بِإِلَى فَأَفَادَ الْقَصْدُ And if it is coupled with إِلَى unto حَرْفٌ جَارْ إِلَى then afada al qasd. Then it means to turn one's attention, or it means to intend. Wa idha khala min taadiya wa utliqa afada afada al kamal wa al bulug al shay ila akmal wajh. Then if it comes and is not coupled with ala nor ila, then what it means is that something it reached its full maturity and it reached the most perfect of what it can be. Ala kulli hal. Here in this ayah, Allah Ta'ala says, ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ And then, attention was turned unto the Sama'a. وَهِيَ دُخَانٌ And it was smoke. It was smoke. فَقَالْ And he said, فَقَالْ لَهَا And he said unto it, وَلِلْأَرُضُ And also to the heaven, or to the earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the heavens and to the earth, اِئْتِيَا طَوْعًا أَوْ كَرْهَا Come, willingly or unwillingly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the mighty creation of the sky, of the heavens, come willingly or unwillingly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the mighty creation of the earth, come willingly or unwillingly. فَقَالَتَا So these, the heavens and the earth, they said, أَتَيْنَا طَائِعِينَ طَائِعِينَ They said, we have come. We have come. طَائِعِينَ We have come willingly. We have come willingly. طَائِعِينَ We have come willingly. يَا عِبَادُ اللَّهِ فَتَأَمَّلْ أَيُّهَا الْآدَمِي Al Bashar, O human being, O human being, 
all human being who is da'if, all human being who is weak in your creation. كَيْفَ كَانَتْ هَذِهِ مَخْلُوقَاتِ How are these great creations? مَخْلُوقَاتِ These great creations, الْعَظِيمَةِ Tremendous, strong. تَسْمَعْ وَتُطِيعْ لِلَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ The heavens, it obeys Allah. The earth, it obeys Allah عَزَّ وَجَلْ With the strength that Allah Ta'ala has given it. With the strength and the might that Allah Ta'ala has given to the heavens and the earth, they obey Allah Azza wa Jal. So, O oh, you human being, Ya Adami, O oh, you human being, Ya Bashar, O oh, you human being, how is it that we, and as weak as we are, disobey Allah Azza wa Jal? How is it that we disobey Allah Azza wa Jal? When on this day, the heavens and the earth in the beginning of the creation, when they were created, Allah Ta'ala said unto them, اِتِيَا تَوْعًا أَوْ كَرْهًا Come willingly or unwillingly. قَالَتَا أَتَيْنَا طَائِعِينَ They said, we have come willingly. وَفِنْتِهَا الْخَلْقِ And at the end of the creation, Allah Ta'ala, He tells us about the heavens. As strong as it is. إِذَا السَّمَاءُ شَقَّتْ وَأَذِنَتْ لِرَبِّهَا وَحُقَّتْ And when the heaven is ripped apart, when it is torn asunder, and it obeys the command of its Lord, and it must do so. On يوم القيامة, the heaven will obey the command of his Lord. Like it obeyed the command of his Lord in the beginning of his creation. So the question for us becomes, Ya Bashar, Ya Adami, O human being, what are we going to do today? In these days of ours, are we going to obey the commands of Allah Azza wa Jal? Or are we going to disobey? Hada. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولجميع المسلمين فاستغفروا فإنه هو الغفور الرحيم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد يا عباد الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's telling us about a day that's not like any other day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us about a day that bila shakwa, bila ray, we have to prepare for. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us that that sky, that heaven, that is strong, it will be rent asunder. And that it will obey its Lord, and it has no choice but to obey his Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us about the earth, that earth which is strong, that earth which obeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when it was first created. And that earth that would obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the final day, Allah ta'ala he says, وَإِذَا الْأَرْضُ مُدَّتْ And when the earth is stretched out, when the earth is stretched out, is flattened, هذه الأرض التي نحن عليها الآن هي غير ممدودة Shri Uthaymeen, رحمه الله تعالى, he says this earth that we're upon right now, is not stretched out, it's not flat. The earth that we're upon right now, is not stretched out, and it's not flat. So I want you to understand the magnitude of this day. And the magnitude of the change that the earth will go through on this day. And some of the implications of that. So that you understand this is a day unlike any other day. The Shaykh he mentions, he says, أول, and he says, firstly, أنها كرة مدورة. He said, because firstly, the earth is a, is, 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 is a sphere. 
is round in its shape. This is the first point. Wa in kanat jawanibha ashamaliya wa junubiya mumtadda qalila. He said, and even though the North Pole and the South Pole, the extreme North and extreme South, it is, it is yeah, and he stressed out a little bit, a little bit, now. But even with this fahiyya, mudawira, mudawira, the earth right now, it is round. The earth, it is round right now. So I want you to contemplate on this reality so that you understand the change in which the earth it will go through on this tremendous day. Athaniya, secondly, ثم Mu'arraja. Also, the earth right now, it is Mu'arraja. It has and it curves, dips and bends. مستوية. It's not just straight one thing. وَلَكَنْ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ but on the day of judgment, on this tremendous day, وَإِذَا الْأَرُضُ مُدَّتْ When the earth, it will be flattened. A تَمَدُّ مَدًّا وَاحِدًا Meaning that it will be flattened with one flattening. It will be flattened out with one flattening. كَمَدِّ الْأَدِيمِ يَعْنِي كَمَدِّ الْجِلْدِ It will be flattened just like you flatten or just like you stretch out. Leather, just like you stretch out the skin, the leather to stretch it, to flatten it. This is how the earth it will be flattened. Yomul Qiyama. Wa ka'annama tafrishu, and just like the earth, yani a tafrishu jildan, or simaqan, just like you will spread out the leather or the way you will spread out the tablecloth. You don't need the tablecloth bunched up, but you spread it out. Likewise, the earth, it will be flattened, it will be spread out. تَمُدُّ حَتَّى إِنَ الَّذِينَ عَلَيْهَا وَهُمْ خَلَائِقُ This is from the implications of it being stretched out. Is that those who are upon it, those who are upon the earth, those who are upon the earth, and they are the creation. يَسْمَعُهُمْ الدَّاعِ That they will hear. They will be able to hear one another. They'll be able to see one another. Contemplate this, Ya Iman. The earth with its mountains, with its peaks, with its valleys, with its sandy plains, it will be flattened out. To the extent that everyone that is on the earth will be able to see one another. Everyone that is on the earth will be able to hear one another. The Shaykh, Rahimullah Ta'ali says, But now, لَكِنَ الْآنَ لَا يَنْفُضُهُمْ الْبَصَرِ Right now, we can't see everybody that's on the earth. وَلَوْ مْتَدَّ النَّاسِ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ لَوَجْدَ الْأَدْبَعِيدِ مُنْخَفِضِينَ لَا تَرَاهُمْ وَلَكِنْ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ إِذَا مُدَّتْ صَارَ أَقْصَاهُ مِثْلَ أَدَنَاهُمْ Right now on the earth, we can't see everyone out. We can't see everyone. Even in plain areas and so on and so forth, in spacious areas, you can't see everyone. You can't hear them. But on the day of judgment, when the earth it is spread out, on the day of judgment, when those strong mountains go away, on the day of judgment, when every high peak is flattened, the one who is far will be like the one who is near. The one who is far away will be like the one who is near. He will, you will be able to see him and you will be able to hear him. كَمَا جَاءَ فِي الْحَدِيدِ As it comes inside of the hadith, hadith mutafiqun alayhi, the hadith that has been collected in Al-Bukhari and Muslim, يَجْمَعُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ الْأَوَّلِينَ وَالْآخِرِينَ فِي الصَعِيدِ الْوَاحِدِ on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will put the first of the people and the last of the people together in one plane, in one area. 
so they will be able to hear each other. And they'll be able to see one another. On this day when all of this is taking place, and it's taking place for a great reason. The earth will go through its transformation and be flattened. And it has to obey its Lord. It listens to his Lord and it must listen to his Lord. You just imagine now that round earth being flattened. Now you imagine now the mountains and the peaks and the hills and the sandy areas and the valleys, everything becoming flattened, becoming one level. Imagine now, imagine now this occurrence. And not just the earth is made flattened. Not just it is stretched out. But it will cast out that which is in it. And it must. It will cast out that which is in it to the point that it becomes empty. Everything that is in the earth will be cast out of the earth, thrown out of the earth, so that it is empty. The thing that is important for us, the thing that is relevant to us, the Shaykh, he says, hey, Juthath, Juthath, Bani Ad, the carcasses, the dead bodies of the human beings, Tulqiha yomul qiyama, they will be cast out yomul qiyama. Hey, Tulqiha the he jugat, for you krajuna minal kuburi him, lila azawajal. So they will come out of their graves, they will come out of their graves, be cast out of their graves on the day of judgment. They will be cast out of their graves on the day of judgment, being recreated like they was created the first time. Flesh put back on the bones, nervous system put back in place, so on and so forth. Put back together on this tremendous day for a tremendous reason. Yeah, ibadullah, if we contemplate on these five ayat, if we contemplate and we reflect on these five ayat, we will know and understand something from the tremendous nature of this day. So we will know and understand something from the tremendous nature of this occurrence of Yawmul Qiyamah. We will start to understand how this day is not like any other day. How this day is not like any other day. How this day is a day bila shak wa bila raib that we have to prepare for. If we know and understand that these great created things from the heavens that will rent asunder, from the earth that will be flattened and it will stretch out and it will expel that which is in it and cast out that which is in it. That these two strong, mighty, created things, they will obey Allah on that day. The question that is relevant to us then therefore is, what are we doing in preparation for that day today? Are we obeying our Lord today in preparation for that day or not? Or are we disobeying our Lord on this day? To subsequently to, 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 to subsequently be from the losers on that day. So we ask ourselves, as we reflect over these ayat, what are we doing in preparation for that day today? Aqimu salat.